There it is. That's the last wall strat. This was dipped in bronze for, for the last waltz event, which took place in, uh, well, I think it was Thanksgiving 1976, which puts us real close to the 40th anniversary of, of that date. It's, it's one of those guitars, when you open the case, there's an aura around it. This has been uh, a, a tremendous honor to not only possess this guitar, but to be able to hold it, analyze it, take it apart. It is to me, uh, one of the most important guitars in rock and roll. Looking deeper into the components of this pickguard beyond the wear, the first thing you'll notice is that the, there's two pickups in the bridge position. It's not a humbucker. The middle has been turned around and sistered up. The way they're wired is, I would say, similar to a, a, a P-Bass pickup. Just has, has more output than if they were by themselves. We have a three-way switch, so in this position, you're getting these two pickups together. Like I said, a little bit higher of an output. In the middle, we have all three pickups. It's a, a little bit more of a chimier sound. Uh, and then in the neck, we have a stock neck pickup. What's unique about this neck is, is that the wear is, a lot of the wear is under the finish. Not the first time I've encountered this, but this particular wear was, was pretty unique. It's, it's on the fingerboard as opposed to the back. It has its own shape headstock. It's a little bit over sanded as I, I think most of them were back in 54 with the, with the rounded edges and the, uh, the, the really deep uh, blends at the end of the neck. It's got a great feel to it. You know, uh, I put the, all the dents and the dings on the back and the, and the paint's removed where the paint should be removed. And I'm really happy with the way the neck turned out. It's, it's got some really, really cool features. This is the last Waltz Strat. Um, it's cool. <laughs>
for this concert. It was, it was kind of an emotional thing. The pickup in the middle on the normal Stratocaster to me would sometimes get in my way. I would hit the middle pickup by accident or it would get in the way of my fingers. And at one time I even played with finger picks and it would get in the way of that. So I said, I don't want that. Let's just move it back. And I always thought that the back pickup could be a little warmer on fenders, right? If there was something we could do to thicken that up a bit, make it a little warmer, and putting the two pickets back, pickups in the back like that, kind of accomplished something of that. But there was a power that came with this too, mm -hmm. that I really, really liked about it. And it freed me up in the, in the center here. So anyway, they dipped it in bronze, brought it back to me, and I guess they custom had to make then, because of the pickup theme right. move, a custom pick guard. Now, I don't know, who, you know, who you go to for that back then. But anyway, we got that done. And then because I've always used my fingers a lot like pedals on, on the knobs, the regular Strat Stratocaster knobs, they didn't turn easy enough for me they would sl it would slip off so that's why i went back to being a telecaster guy right the i went back to the telecaster knobs and so that's how this combination came i don't know what it was about that instrument but over the years it wasn't just me messing with it there was people saying well let me uh you know, let me try different wiring in the pickups. Let's try a different, uh, you know, a, a different kind of tremolo bar thing uh, on here. And as you can see, there's holes in it from people well, you trying sent, to you, yeah, hot you, rod. You sent it to me with a wonder bar on it and asked me to put that bridge on it. Right, right. And because uh, oh, that's what I'm saying that over the years, everybody was like, you know what? I think we could, you know, try this or try that. For some reason, people were drawn to it to, to want to hot rod it. It yeah. is one of the most hot rodded guitars probably ever, you know, and for it to come out and be and be what it is now and then to be replicated in, you know, in a status of a masterpiece is pretty great. Anyway, it's beautiful. Well, I'm very proud. Thank you, guys. Excellent. Thank, Excellent. Thank you. Yeah.